Of course, every project is not a casework project, to say the least. In uh, architectural millwork, you get into all kinds of custom items, and we have a custom library that allows you to build up all kinds of assemblies in the system and bring them up and use them later on in various projects. Uh, here you see our custom library window. It consists of categories and items within categories. So as I click on an item, you can see, or click on a category, you can see the items within it. If I want to load this item up, I would just double click on it. And now I can see that what I have here is a mahogany door. And that price for that door is $1,103. And this particular item is done in what we call our layout schematic fashion, which means that we use an XYZ in order to determine the materials and the labor processes involved. So this door right now is 36 inches wide and 96 inches high. If I need to adjust any of those dimensions, you'll see that the price rolls back and labor changes as I make these adjustments. In addition to these adjustments, I can always click on a material tab and go in here and take a look at the materials we're using. So if I right click on a material, it finds it in my list and it tells me that's eight quarter Honduras mahogany, for instance. And here you can see how the different materials are calculated. Uh, they are done uh, depending upon how you would like to do them here with calculation keys. So you just set a calculation key to figure your materials accordingly. And in addition to that, of course, we have man manufacturing materials one and two tabs, along with a factory finishing tab. So just like we did uh, a finishing adjustment on casework a while ago, uh, you would do an adjustment in here. Same thing with install materials. So you can specially s assign some materials to installation only. So if you were to back installation out of a project, it would automatically back out those materials as well. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go here and let's uh, give this a different room number and we'll add and close the library and take a look at what we have here. And now you can see that mahogany uh, door, for instance, that we just added to this job. Let's go back into our custom library and take a look at some other features. I'll just move this up. In addition to selecting via categories and items like we had here, uh, you can also select via images. So you can uh, open up the image panel and go from category to category and take a look at the different things that you have involved in each category. And in addition to that, you can also select items via image. So if I want to browse all my images and say that's what I'm looking for right there, now I'm looking at some melamine uh, shelving with standards. And uh, if I wanted to load that item, I would just click the button here. And let's go back to that reception desk, which is so pretty. So here you can see that we have a solid surface uh, and veneer reception desk. And if I want to load this item, I just click right here. And so here you see our custom desk with veneer and so forth. If I want to check out my materials, I can just click on my materials tab. And here you see some A3 veneer and some AA veneer, solid surface materials, some seam glue. And here we've got uh, what we call a dollar part, which is just a generic part number for a dollar. And we inserted 200 of those, which is $200 for gate hardware. Uh, in addition to that, we've got some framing material, of course. And if we go into factory finishing, you'll see that we've got some staining here in addition to that. And if we go to our labor tabs, here you can see that we've got our labor divided up. So we got five and a half hours for the office, 86 hours in manufacturing, 15.3 in finishing, and nine hours of install. So if I want to use this, I can just change my room number. And maybe let's put this in as an alternate. So maybe this is uh, alternate one, for instance. And we'll go add and close the library. Now the system prompts us because we just entered an alternate in here. So we need to set it up. So we go in and we've got two different types, add alternates or deduct alternates. And then we got uh, notes that can fall into our bid proposal. So here we can say uh, reception desk. May want to spell it right. 
and click OK. It builds an alternate in our system for us, and there you can see the pricing of that item.